video, you will learn how to place bracing and change components in your SmartPlant 3D model using the Hilti Modular Supports plugin. All Hilti MIMQ Smart Assemblies can have parts swapped or retrofitted with bracing as needed. The program does not calculate load capacity. You must first determine what your load requirements are and identify the appropriate support. Let's begin by adding a brace. We'll place an MQL support for the top tray. It will be attached to a steel beam on top and a steel column to the left of the tray. Click the Place Support by Structure icon. Move the cursor on top of the tray to highlight the edges in red. Upon clicking, the edges turn yellow. This is how to make a selection. Click the Accept button to finish the selection. Notice the command prompt at the bottom of the screen. It says, select one or more structural members for attachment of support. These prompts will help explain icon functions and help guide you through the process. Now, let's click on the structural item you want to attach the support assembly to. We will use the orange steel beam above and the red steel column to the left of the tray. Again, placing your cursor on the beams will highlight them in red and then in yellow after clicking. Click the Accept button to finish selection. When the Please Select a Support Type prompt appears, click OK and go to the Type drop-down menu. Scroll all the way to the bottom and then click More to see where all the Hilti Smart Assemblies are listed. In the Select Support window, for this example, we click Hilti MQ Assembly and then click Cable Tray Support Galvanized to see a list of Hilti Smart Assemblies. In this instance, we want to place an L-shaped MQ support. Click L-Shape and click the assembly on the right-hand side of the dialog box. Then click OK. You will now see the assembly you selected in the model. Click the Change Support Configuration icon three times to get the L-Support correctly oriented and placed below the tray. To complete the placement, click the Accept button and then click the Finish button. Now let's swap out a part in the assembly. Please note that all bracing shows up as an MQ part, which needs to be manually changed to HS to match what is offered in North America. Begin by right-clicking the L support assembly until it turns magenta, then click Properties. Under Support Properties dialog box, click the Category drop-down menu and select Hilti MQL. Change the vertical section from channel MQ72 to HS-158-12 slash PG10-foot B2B. We do this because MQ is a European strut not sold in North America. Only the HS option is available. Switch the horizontal section to match the vertical section. This way, our assembly conforms to Hilti's North American portfolio. Click Apply, then click OK. To verify these changes, let's change the view. Click the white select arrow on the left side vertical toolbar, then click the drop-down menu right above it. In the drop-down, select Support Components. Now place the cursor on the horizontal and vertical beams of the L support. The beams should be HS and not MQ. Then go back in the drop-down menu and switch back from Support Components to the Support view. To place a brace, right-click on the assembly. It will turn magenta. Then right-click again and click Properties. Under Category, click Hilti MQ Bracing. The program automatically configures the selected assembly for bracing. Then click Bracing Direction and select the appropriate degrees in the drop-down menu. In this case, let's select 180 degrees. Click Apply and then OK. The brace should now appear in the model. Click the select arrow and you are done. Want to learn more about the Hilti Modular Supports plugin to SmartPlant 3D? Visit our website or contact our customer service teams to set up a demo.